Hello, welcome to an NXT review with Wrestling Network. How are you doing today, man? I mean, I'm doing all right, but how are you doing is the question. I watched this NXT, so not that great. I mean, it was head and shoulders above Raw, but it's still below the piss line. It couldn't have been that bad. Come on, come on. I don't care. Let's move on to talk about stuff. Yeah, Ember Moon faced Dakota Kai, and for some reason, Dakota Kai won. It's like <laughs> what? Hang on, yeah, what? Yeah, why? I mean, you bring back Ember in this whole big charade back, and then you make her lose one of her Was first matches back. Was it clean or not? Uh, pretty much. Uh, oh, uh, distraction. Okay. This confused. Ember Moon goes from being a jobber on the main roster to losing on NXT. Like, what's the point of this? There's Hello? Absolutely no point to this match. Booking logic, storyline, continuity. Ember Moon is supposed to be going for the NXT Women's Championship. Am I correct? Yeah. So why, why is she little? Whatever. NXT, NXT disappoints me now. It used yeah. to be so good. Yeah. Now they're just NXT. Like, do you know the reason why they're not on Survivor Series? Because they didn't want to make NXT look like a d legitimate brand. I thought it was because of the well, coronavirus. Well, coronavirus is one of the reasons, but the other reasons is Vince doesn't want NXT to look like it's on par with Raw or SmackDown, as in terms of talent and wrestling what? ability. But they won Survivor Series last year. Yeah, I guess he changed his mind about that now. Because it's Vince McMahon. Yeah, and he flips more than a fish out of water. Flips more than Dolph Ziggler. Fucking flops. He flips God. more than a big show face or heel turn. I was about to say that, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. to be fair, Keith Lee's basically turning face and heel every fucking week, isn't he? At this point. What, Keith Lee? Yeah, because he either comes off as a baby face or comes off as a heel every week. It just... Half the time his mood just looks different. I mean, Keith Lee is just there for me. He's always just there. He's just, Whatever. he's just, they've killed him already, haven't they? Bring back his old theme song from the second he came out to that they awful can't theme song. Now, he was dead. Because it was made by a different composer that they don't work with, so they don't want their music on the show anymore. Ridiculous. Yeah, Ridiculous. I know. It's, it's fucking. Uh... Then we go to a um, all right match between Cameron Grimes and uh, Cameron Grimes and Kushida. It was an all right match with Kushida picking up the victory. I... No, no. I have a question. How are we supposed to take Cameron Grimes seriously as a proper single star when last week he was li he was hiding, he was running away, he was scared. Uh, he yeah. Was a bitch. Sorry, I should mention that the fact that Cameron Grimes lost because he freaked out because it was a referee from his match last week. What was the referee from his match last week? A zombie. A what? The referee was a zombie last week and then he saw the referee that was not, he wasn't a zombie this week but it was the same referee and then he freaked out. The and referee was a zombie. Last week. And then the, the commentary literally called him zombie referee this week. Zombie referee. Yep. This is the levels that NXT is stooping, stooping to. And you say you don't like... You think AEW is overly silly. We've got Zombie Referee. And... Zombie Referee. And Ghostface. Zombie re Halloween ended four <laughs> nights ago. Yep. This is how bad NXT is actually becoming. Jesus Christ. It's a bonfire night soon. Not Halloween. Mm. Fucking hell, man. NXT pains me because they had something serious. They channeled Mid South Wrestling, old yep. school wrestling, NWA, and now. It's Zombie shit. Referee. Zombie Referee. <laughs> yep. Uh, then Drake Maverick and Killian Dane faced Ever Rise for like the 14th billion time. I don't care. It was boring and it was a no contest. Because, um. Apparently they're called the Mick Alliance, which is Pete Dunne, uh, Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch are apparently called the Mick, Alli Mick Alliance. 
That's a shit fucking name. The Mick Alliance? The Mick Lions. The Mick Lions. Oh, the Mick Lions. Like, I was thinking about a team with all Mick Foley's. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. I'd watch that. Uh, but yeah, they beat down. Uh, Kill they beat down the tag teams in the ring, and then uh, their leader, Pat McCaffrey, came out. Why the fuck is Pat McCaffrey the leader? I don't know. Then they dro droned on and on for like five minutes talking about fucking Undisputed Era for some fucking reason, and then burnt the Undisputed Era flag in a trash can. Edgy. It was boring as fuck. Ah, oh, dude. I I like Pat McAfee. I don't like the fact that he's an obnoxious heel now. Because mm. he has a TV show. A slash podcast. Internet podcast. Where he's a, where he's a face. Where he acts like a nice person. It, 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 it confuses me. And, and another thing. Why is Rockstar Spud still employed? Because they faked his firing to make him more of a legitimate star. They faked his firing. Yeah, because you know when they did them layoffs, they put he did like an emotional "I'm leaving WWE" video on fate on Twitter, and then oh, we put in this tournament. Oh, here's a contract, mate. It was clear that they never let him go from a contract at all. It was clearly just a fucking storyline for him. I don't know. You know, the storyline when everyone else was actually losing their job, but fuck it, we'll pretend this person is. Yeah, he's not a star. He sucks. I'm sorry. Rockstar Spud to me is never going to be anything more than, than a, a comedy hype jobber. Man. Hype man or a comedy jobber. One of the two. It was entertaining with Our Truth in the 24 7 title. That made me laugh. That was entertaining and funny to watch. But Trey Manfred is not a great wrestler. He also lost to a fucking two year old. So Ma what? Yeah, you know Matt Hardy's son, King Maxwell? Yeah. He. King Maxwell pinned Rockstar Spud on an episode of Impact. But yeah, yeah, well, if Rockstar Spud were to leave, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. But anyway, screw it. This match was whatever. Yep. Um, and then the segment was whatever. We lost track. Then Johnny Gargano had Ghostface there for some fucking reason. Because reasons. Who is Ghostface? I, apparently, I don't even know. I don't care. That's the problem. I generally don't care. It would have been good you, if they revealed it? them last week during the Halloween it's episode. You. you are Ghostface. Ghostface has not been relevant in years. What? What do you mean years? Well, what, when was the last time a Ghostface movie came out? A Scream movie actually came out? I don't know. Before I was born? I don't think so. Uh, then we had Tony Storm versus Shot, uh, Shotzi Blackheart. Tony Storm won after a Candice LeRae distracted Shotzi Blackheart, and then they ran over her tank, and she screamed about it. She ran over her tank. Yeah, she drives his tank to the ring, and then they ran over it with a car. So both co you... both shows had a car segment, but one was better than the other. Can you tell me How which you... one? Hint, it's not the one where they run over a tank. Uh, how do you run over a tank with a car? It's a tiny mini, like, tank. Oh, so yeah. it's just, like, a piece of shit? Yeah, kind of. I don't get what... She has it to honour her brother in the Marines, apparently. Um, yeah, that's, that's nice, that's sweet, but, but, like, still... Do you really need it in your wrestling? I mean, surely you could just wear a... <laughs> I support the military badge or some shit. I support the military badge. <laughs> I support the military. Somebody make them. I support the military badge. I want one of them. We should make I support all things wrestling badges. Yes, we should. Uh, Just wear that out and about in public. <laughs> uh, then we had some random segment with the random people I don't know entering the building, like Santos Escobar. I've generally got to say, don't care about that guy, don't care about anybody to do with him, and I don't care about the Cruiserweight Championship because he has it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> generally, he he bores me. He generally yeah. bores me. I can agree with you, though. He's not that entertaining. I Cruiserweight Championship's dead. 
Just get rid He's of him. He's basically like Andrade if you took all of the charisma and wrestling ability out of him. <laughs> and Andrade <laughs> doesn't have much wrestling, uh, much charisma to begin with. Angel Gauze is the better one out of those yeah, two. That's neither here nor there. To be fair, uh, Andrade is probably the better wrestler. Because Andrade can no. cause banging contests. No. I think Angel Gars is better, you know. He just hasn't had the chance to showcase it. Mm, potentially, yeah. Then Timothy Thatcher goes on and on about some random shit. And then yeah. there was a big brawl, and then things happened. Because mm -hmm. reasons. Great. I yeah. don't give a fuck. Nope. And then Rhea Ripley came out and cut a promo about wanting to win the championship. And it's just like... Ray Ripley stopped being relevant as soon as she lost to Charlotte Flair. Oh my god, don't get me started on Charlotte. Do not get me started on Charlotte. But yeah, Rhea Ripley. She's like, whatever anymore. She should have won that match at WrestleMania. It yeah, was a great match. She changed match the gimmick, the that's the problem. Now she's not even the same gimmick. She just feels like a freaking wannabe. She literally feels like a watered down version of herself. Yeah. I, I can agree with you to an extent. I still like Rhea Ripley. Yeah, she's all well. right, but she just... If you go back eight months ago, she was a lot better then than now she is now. Uh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Then we get to the main event that we all wanted to see. The Psychopath versus the Nonce. It's almost as exciting as the freaking presidential election of the racist versus the pedo. The racist versus the pedo. What a marquee. It's basically what the US election is, isn't it? <laughs> it is, to be fair. It is. I have probably pissed off so many people right now by that comment. And both were train wrecks. This match and the election. Yeah, Velveteen Dream, I don't like anymore. I mean, he, even if he hadn't had any of these allegations, generally his style and his wrestling has just started to really just bore me. Generally, every time he's in the ring, I just want to turn off the TV because he's just boring and unappealing to me. Even yeah, without the um, allegations, it's just his character's stale, his wrestling shit, and he's just not good anymore. I can agree with you. Now that crowds are gone in wrestling, a lot of wrestlers have kind of had to go in the ring, and we've kind of been forced to pay more attention to the matches, and a lot of wrestlers have been exposed for how, like... Shit. Bad they really are, and Velveteen Dream is one of those wrestlers. Yeah. Whereas people like freaking Tommaso Ciampa still shine because, well, Tommaso Ciampa's amazing without a crowd or with a crowd. Ciampa's better. Ciampa's, Ciampa's better than he was. Right now, he's the best he's ever been. Hmm. I was just proved with McIntyre proving that he's a decent wrestler. Even without the crowd reaction, McIntyre held that championship up high since Mania. He's been the best champion of the last, I want to say, two or three years. Except yeah. for Roman, who's doing good stuff. But WWE World Champion, McIntyre has been the best one for the last definitely, few years. Definitely, definitely. And he's definitely better than the former U uh, former bloody last two Universal Champions before Roman. Which was both what Braun Strowman and The Fiend. Oh, God, The Fiend. Don't get me started on The Fiend. That's another person that pisses me off. I mean, at least Alexa's doing interesting work with him, and she's not just sitting there drinking coffee on fucking moment with a moment with bliss. With Nikki Cross, who has the most annoying voice in the company. Alexa, why have you Wait, been ignoring stop. me? Stop ignoring me! Give me your attention, because I'm five years old. Fuck off. Yeah. She went from being a psychopath to a <laughs> children's kids show entertainer. Basically. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, who actually won this match? Tommaso Ciampa won. What a shock. I'd probably give this NXT a 3.5 out of 10. 3.5? I mean, I, I didn't watch, so I can't really give it a grade. It's not too fair, but from what you've described, I would much rather have watched AEW tonight. Yes, AEW was well, well better of a show. I mean, this was nowhere near as bad as Raw, but the problem is it's slowly getting that way. It, I'm generally dreading watching NXT every week. I, I don't think you should, honestly. Just go back to doing AEW. It's kind of your niche. You're, you're the AEW guy. 
Yeah, I know, but I get more views when I watch both. Ah, I would see. Views don't matter. The kind of everything that matters in this industry. Well, as long as you're having fun, you're having fun. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't make my, any effort watching both shows at the same time. It's just when one of them is a when one of them is NXT, it's just like, well, I'm going to pay attention more to this one because, well, this one's more interesting. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's like soon, I'll hopefully add NWA to my list of wrestling oh, shows on a Tuesday. Do. Please do. Really want to? Just it's not. They're not. I don't know what he's taking his time with. He just wants to make sure everything's perfect, which I, they should have done. The Impact should have done the same thing as NWA. Impact's doing a good product, though, right now. It's subjective. It depends if you like that kind of stuff. The thing is, the people that watch Impact really like Impact. It's one of those where their fans are enjoying everything that's happening, as I'm one of them. If you like slightly off-the-wall wrestling, but... Bit of it's down to work, but the rest of it's kind of like slightly off, but not anything like Lucha Underground because Lucha Underground was a way too fucking far program for me to enjoy. Never watched it. Can't say I've ever watched it. They had magical fucking people in it. Okay, magical people. You can go fuck yourself. I'm no. Uh, the, magical the, people, people died in it, and then got resurrected. Yeah. People, they okay. literally killed characters off and then resurrected them again. I have heard enough about Lucha Underground. The They're problem is the wrestling solid, but just the storylines and everything is just way too far for what I want to watch. You can't I watched about series, three episodes though. and got bored of it. The, the wrestling can be good, but you can never really get too much into it or take it serious when yeah. people are dying and getting resurrected and have magical powers. Yep. It's kind of like, come on, bruh. That's why I didn't continue to watch it. And then they kept half the wrestlers under contract despite the fact they're never doing another season because, you know, dicks. Massive dicks. Yeah, I lost all respect when they wouldn't release wrestlers from their contract. Despite the fact that they had no idea about the future. It's like, just let the wrestler out the fucking contract then, you bastard. Exactly. And somehow this has gone from Shotzi Blackheart to Lucha Underground. Yes, we'll wrap this up. Just remember, quavers are the way of life and you must try them. And also, try Waltzits if you want to, but they are massively disappointing compared to what they were 10 years ago. Wait, what do you think about Monster Munch? I have not had them since about 2001. I saw somebody mention Monster Munch in the chat yesterday and I was like, that's a throwback. Do they still even make them? Yes, they still make the beef and the... Pickled onion, I think. The, other the one onion is. ones are minging. Yeah, no, I agree with you. The bit, mm -hmm. Yeah, they still make the beef ones as well, I believe. Remember the ones that used to turn your tongue purple? Oh yeah. They were fucking. They were the shit. They were. Oh, they were lovely. And there is your random British snacks of the. the this is basically the thing. Ellie, every time Ellie's here, I make a joke about Dead Space, and every time Wrestling Network is here, we talk about English snacks. There you go. <laughs> that's basically what we're going to do at the end of every single one of these. Uh, thank subscribe. you. Subscribe. Yeah, like, share, subscribe. Um, Friday night we'll be watching SmackDown because reasons. And then Saturday we have two live streams, one of AEW and one of New Japan. So that'll be fun. All right, I'll see you all later. Bye.